Hey guys, it's Lita. So I know it's been a really, really long time, almost a year since last time I did a tattoo video that telling you guys about my tattoos and stuff and the meaning behind them. So I decided that since it was probably one of the most requested videos I've had this entire year, that I'd finally do one, even though I'm getting a couple more. Um, so my first tattoo ever, I got when I was 14. I did get it without my parents' permission, um, which was a bad idea. But um, for me, it's kind of like a sign of growing up in a way, like, that's just the way that I look at it. Not only do I really love the tattoo, it's um, the kanji Japanese symbol for dream um, with my favorite flower, which is a cherry blossom. So my second tattoo, I'm still kind of weird about showing on camera, but it's it's a Kingdom Hearts symbol, um, like the heart with the crown on top, and one of my best friends in the world did it for me. And, um, you know, just that alone, the fact that, you know, no one ever really sees this tattoo, but the fact that I know I have it and that she did it is just like totally enough for me because it's that's one of my favorite tattoos because of that. And my third tattoo is this one. Um, and this is uh, the second, or no, it's it's the first verse in um, the song Even Star uh, from the Two Towers, uh, Lord of the Rings and the Two Towers. And roughly it means. Um, now is not the end, it is the beginning. Do not let yourself fall, even when you have trust in nothing else. Um, and that's basically kind of like the motto I live by. It's in the uh, language, the Elvish language created by J.R.R. Tolkien, and J.R.R. Tolkien is one of my favorite people in the world. He's a huge inspiration. And the language is called Tengwar, um, and the branches Sindarin, so. This is the Night Elf Crest uh, from World of Warcraft. Basically what this... Um, this crest is, it's like, it's the Sentinel's Crest, which is basically kind of like, it's a sign of guardianship and wisdom. I also just really love Night Elves, they're my favorite race in World of Warcraft, so. This one I got after that. Uh, this is probably my most important tattoo. Um, I recently got it redone because the way that it was done before kind of made it look like stickers, kind of. Um, but so I just got a background done over it. Um, and these butterflies used to be crumbling, but the reason that I got them filled in uh, was because with the background, it would look way too cluttered if I had them broken up still. So um, it still possesses the same meaning, though. Basically, what it was is um, when I was going into ninth grade, when I was 14, um, uh, my I was, like, really, really upset <laughs> about everything. I hated where I lived, and I hated everything about everywhere. And um, my dad, I wasn't on very good terms with him at the time. Um, so I didn't really, like, acknowledge everything that he said. He took me to, like, a, a field, but he told me to look out the window and said, uh, when you look out at the field, do you see pretty or do you see ugly? And I was like, oh, I, I hate it. It's ugly. I hate it so much. And then he said, all right, well, uh, close your eyes and imagine a butterfly. Do you think it's pretty or do you think it's ugly? And I was like, well, I think it's pretty because I like butterflies. They're they're pretty. And um, so I was like, yeah, they're, they're pretty. And he was like, okay, so now keep your eyes closed and look at the same butterfly in your head and imagine it as ugly. Just, just convince yourself it's ugly. Just imagine it that way. So I did. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's, that's ugly. It's like an insect and it has legs and it's creepy and stuff. So yeah, it's ugly. And um, then he was like, okay, now open your eyes and look out at the field that you thought was really ugly before and apply the same concept in your head to the place that you previously thought was ugly or how I use it today, the situation that you see is ugly and look at it as beautiful. So that's basically what I apply to my life now is, um, whenever something really bad happens or there's a bad situation, you can look at it as beautiful, it might take a little bit of effort, but you can still look at something that's very, very seemingly ugly and see it as a beautiful thing. So this ta uh, tattoo is dedicated to my dad, and so it's one of my most important ones I've ever gotten, ever, and I think ever will get. So anyway, um, the one that came after my chest piece was um, this Espeon tattoo. It's also one of my favorites. It's because uh, when I was little, um, when people would roleplay as Pokemon in my kindergarten schoolyard, I'd always say that I wanted to be Espeon, but they always told me that I had to be Geodude, um, because I was mm, not the most popular and not the prettiest, I guess you could say, of kids in my kindergarten class. And so I got this Espeon tattoo because it was always the one that I wanted to be and I never got to be it, and so I got a tattoo of it, and it's always been my favorite Pokemon. And the one I got after that was... <laughs> 
know if you guys can see it very well. This one on the back of my neck. <laughs> that is No Face from the Hayao Miyazaki's um, Studio Ghibli film Spirited Away, which was always my favorite Studio Ghibli film. Um, and he was always my favorite uh, character from that film because he, uh, No Face is basically, he's really innocent, but he has like a dark side. It kind of, he's, he kind of just represents like the fact that people have a light and a dark side. And the one after that, um, was a couple of them at the same time. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> he just front flipped into a box. Here. It's the Horde symbol. Uh, just because, like, I don't know, Horde was the first place that I played on, or the first faction that I played on. And so, I just, I just really like the symbol too, so. And, let's see, also this one, which I got at the same time, um, right here. And it means friend. And me and Serena actually got this, um, on our wrists together. So, yeah. And it's, oh my goodness, what? And I also got this one the same day, uh, which is one of the tattoos I've just always been wanting. So I got it. Um, but it's a soot sprite from Spirited Away. Um, the same movie that No Face is from. And uh, it's just, they're just so cute. It's just like a little soot sprite that are like, they're super happy. And um, then they have these little star candies in the movie that they're like, eh, that. You can't really see it very well. But it's a little Mario star. And then the ones after that, which are pretty recent, um, are these ones on my back. Uh, here's one of them. You may recognize these cats if you didn't already know I had these. Uh, this one is Zaya, my little black kitty. And this one is Arcane. And they're just basically, it's my cats, but they're in like, um, uh, Zaya's in a little witch hat with pumpkins and stuff and like in a graveyard and uh, Arcane is um, Basically, he's like in an alchemist lab and he has like a little wizard hat and a little cloak and stuff like that and some potions in the background um, And then my most recent one was actually getting this one redone So anyway, you guys, I hope you liked that video, um, and I will continue to do uh, tattoo update videos as I get more tattoos, because I plan on getting quite a few more. But anyway, you guys, I love you so much. Seriously, I always will, I promise. And so does Panks. <laughs> she loves you guys, too. And I can't wait to see some of you guys at Playlist. It was so, so amazing meeting you guys. Um, uh, earlier this week at Niagara Falls. Seriously, it was one of the best days I've ever had. And remember to keep smiling and 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 don't let your day tell you t it's don't don't let your day be bad. Okay, I love you guys so much. Hugs. Okay, bye.